What's going on everybody, Metal Blade 427 here, and I present to you Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we ran through and did tutorials, the obligatory tutorials of the game that you have to do in every Mega Man game that you play ever. But now we are free to run around the net and meet up with our friends and actually explore and collect stuff and battle to our heart's content. One thing I want to mention before moving on though, in regards to that power-up program that I mentioned briefly in the tutorial episode, we will be getting it like three or four chapters from now, but from here on out, every battle you get into, the way that you fight will influence what that power program will look like. Uh, whether you use your buster a lot, whether you use a lot of chips, whether you use navy chips, whether you use defensive chips like recovers and shields, all that stuff will go into what the power up program will look like and what its specific abilities will be. So I'm just letting you know now, from here on out, everything I do will influence that, and everything you do would influence that as well. Let's go to the net! And here we are! This is Dent Area 1, as shown in the bottom right corner there. Uh, first part of the net is right here. There are multiple maps to the internet, each connecting to different sections of the world that we're in. I like the internet in this one. I, I think it's really nice, especially compared to the first game, which was so dull and boring. Here there's actual bright, you know, there's different colors, there's textures, there's almost that like, you know, you can see right below us to that matrix style grid format thingy down there. It's just so much cooler. Plus now the different sections of the map that we're going to visit, like all den area will look the same, but then all other regions will have their own unique look to them. So that's really cool. So why don't we explore around Den Area 1. Unfortunately, this area is under construction. This is like a teleport area. We're going to be collecting gate keys as we go through the game. Each gate key will open up a teleport area, and it'll send us to a different square around the world. These little guys running around here are Mr. Frogs. They are programs designed to just do, well, whatever it is they do. We'll see them in, like, vending machines and soda machines and various other things like that. They'll help us, we'll help them, and they are our friends forever. And might as well actually show off our very first battle of the game. Uh, even though we saw these guys back in the tutorial, I didn't get a chance to talk about them. These are Mateurs, 40 HP, they do 10 damage, and they can drop the Shockwave or Guard Chips. They are, well, they're the most common enemy that you're going to find in any Mega Man game. The Met series of enemies have been in all Mega Man games virtually. I know in Legends, the construction workers were really just wearing the helmets with the Met symbol on it, on it but you see them in Classic, X, ZX, uh, the Zero Saga, all, all over the place. But we're going to take care of these guys like we would any other guy. We get to choose our own chips, and fire, and fire. And we're going to stand here and probably finish off with a buster as one attacks, you just jump to the next one. Every time you finish a battle, you will be graded on your performance. That includes but not limited to, because there's just so many different ways and things out there that people are saying different ways that your buster levels influence. Amount of chips you use, speed, how much damage you take, things along that way. So I got a buster level 7, and I got our first Zenny as well, 150. Which isn't really a lot in all consideration. Uh, that's a generic Navi, you're going to see a bunch of them walking around, they don't really tell you anything important, unless we have to talk to them, but that would be storyline-wise. Another entrance into the teleport area. These are security cubes. We will be getting various codes in order to unlock them throughout the game. This one, however, is a mysterious security cube. Uh, this can be equated to the World 3 pin doors of the first game. We're going to get a specific code that will only unlock these that say mysterious uh, security cube on them. These are all over the net and they hide a lot of goodies like you see down there. But to explain what that is, I'm going to come up here next to this one. These are Mystery Data. Mystery Data comes in three colors, green, blue, and purple. The green ones will respawn every time you jack in and jack out of the net, so you can come on in and grab whatever it is you want to grab. They will give you different items based on the area you're in, and some are good, some are bad, some are zenny, you know, it, it all depends. Blue ones are one-time pickup items, so as soon as you grab it, we get an item. In this case, we get a Panel Out 1 star. I actually am going to go into here and get rid of my escape, because I don't ever use escapes, ever. Purple ones are one-time pickup only items as well, like the blue ones, but they are locked, so you have to go buy unlockers that are cost 4,000 zenny a pop. Those will carry the bigger, better items in them. Uh, great chips, power-ups, memory-ups, things along that ways. So you definitely want to uh, be able to do that. 
I was running around trying to find this thing. It's a hidden mystery data that's right here. And what this one in it, it's a blue one as well. And it's a bug frag. Uh, those that have played other Mega... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to explain that. Let me just take care of these guys first. These are Canodums. 50 HP, 10 damage, and they will drop the cannon chips. Uh, another one that came back from the first game. We'll be seeing a lot of versions of these, and of course I'd like to get as many good cannons as I possibly can. Because the cannons, you know, they're nice, they're quick, they're easy to use. You don't have to worry about any type of panel effects for a cannon to hit somebody, so... Like, as, if you ever watch my first one, you'll know that I'm a really big fan of the shockwaves. And if there's a hole in the field, I can't use a shockwave, because it just won't go through it. And what I get? I got Zenny, that's fine. Anywho, bug frags, as I was saying. Those that have played later Mega Man games will know bug frags, because they have become a pretty integral part of the later versions. Uh, those you were able to win from battles as well. Here, you can only find bug frags in mystery data. You can go to your key items, and they are right there. We have one bug frag. There is a bug frag trader, several squares from now, several chapters that we'll be going through. So all the bug frags that we collect, we'll be able to trade them from him. He has a set amount of inventory, and there's a set amount of bug frags, so in order to get everything, you've got to find them all. Taking that teleporter up here, we'll introduce this other, you know, NPC net navy guy, but what's important about him is, he's a net dealer, our first net merchant of the game. He will sell two HP memory ups, one for 1,000, one for 2,000, also has a shotgun, little bomb, recover 10, and spreader. I would probably say don't buy this recover 10, because you're going to find some later, and... The 500 Zenny is more useful to go towards your HP memory ups than anything else. Moving right along, that sign right there will tell you, you know, left for the net dealer, right for the square. So we're going to go right. This is male security cube. We'll be able to open that up, um, actually, really soon. Before the end of this episode, I can tell you that. Alright, there's green mystery data. What do I get? Come on, there you go. 800 Zenny! Awesome! Good! I like that. And then I can jack in and jack out, and then that green mystery data will be back, and I have a chance of getting another 800 Zenny right from it, so I'm excited and, and hopeful to get all that Zenny, because I need 3,000 already, and I don't have much. This is a crossgun S. How much do I have? Well, I could afford one, but I'll come back later. I do want to go in here, I don't want to put that crossgun S in, but I did get... A cannon A, so I'm going to start narrowing down the Bs. Just to help the folder flow a little bit more, I don't really have any good combos going up yet, so for right now, we're just going to go with that. And we're going to run into another new enemy down here. Those are bunnies. Uh, 40 HP, they do 15 damage, they will give you the Zapring 1 chip. They are Elec type, which is not new to the game, but the first time we're introduced to an elemental enemy right here in this particular game. And their main thing is... They're going to jump around the field, and if they hit you with a zap ring, you're going to be paralyzed. To be paralyzed means that you cannot move, but you can still take damage. We will get the ability to do that at some point, and actually if I do end up getting... Oh, wow, see, just like that. That, that was a prime example of what a zap ring does. I can't move for a short period of time. Alright, what are you going to do? Will it hit you? Ah, come on! It's really? Really? Is this how we're going to play now? Come on. Come on! Ugh. Well, that was a bad buster ranking. But as you saw, if you get paralyzed, you are unable to be moved. You are unable to move for a set amount of time, and you can still take damage while you're standing there. So it's different from flinching, where you're invincible for a short period of time. Back here is a blue mystery data. Our second bug frag. Another security cube. That's Dex. And in here... Hey, look at this new area. And look who it is. You're late, man. Hurry up, Mega. Roll. Guts Man. Be there in a sec. Mega Man, finally. We were waiting forever, Lan. Sorry, Dex. Sorry, Mel. You're totally late. What were you doing? I jacked in as soon as I got home and waited and waited. Sir... Wow, that's a, that's a weird single word of three sorries. Anyway, Mom got hold of me too quick. Hmm, <laughs> figures. You too, Mega. Sorry, Roll. Well, they sure are mad. Hey, it's your fault for getting such bad grades, Lan. You guys, you can chat later. Yo, guys, you can chat later. Let's get started. 
Yo guys, you can chat later. Let's get going. I don't know why I had a hard time reading that one little section. Gutsman, let's go. Ask about becoming city net battlers. Yeehaw, let's go. Roll, let's go along too. Sure thing, mail. Later, Mega. <laughs> Alright, well that was... I don't know why that was difficult to read, but in either case, we here we are at the square entrance. This is where we can actually not run into any viruses at all. We can run around here to hard to contend and not have to run into anything. There are different ways to get in and out of here. These are those special teleporters. There are specific areas where we can tele we can jack in or teleport from in order to get there. Uh, this one down over here will lead us to the second level of Den Area 2, but we'll worry about that later because it's under construction. We can't go there anyway. And this pink uh, octagon-shaped teleporter will actually bring us to the square. Again, an area where we won't have to worry about viruses. Down here we'll roll a standing. This is the boards. We can't go in because, again, they are also under construction. Welcome to Chapter 1 where everything is being built. In here you will be able to look at the message boards and get information about, you know, just things to know about the world, viruses, virus busting techniques. There's actually a lot of information in there. A little bit too much, you know, for me to really go over, but I'll stop in there. I kind of have to at some point anyway. This here is our first subchip dealer. This one will sell mini energies uh, for 50, which will heal Mega Man's HP for 50. A uh, sneak run, which will keep us from encountering weak viruses for a short period of time, so if you're navy hunting, these are great. And of course, the unlocker that I talked about for 4,000 that'll open up those purple mystery datas. And our second net merchant as well. He will have three HP memory ups for 2,000, 4,000, and 8,000 zennies. So as you can see, already we're barely even out of the first chapter. We have five HP memories to buy, and that puts us at about 17,000 zenny, and I have... <laughs> 1200? <laughs> Otherwise that, cross gun, wide sword, recover 30, and a barrier. But our important thing is to come up here. What's up, Gutsman? I decided to take the Z-Lice exam. I'll give it my all, yeehaw! Alright, so if we talk to this guy, the Z-Lice exam is the first step to be a city net battler. Will you take it? If you go here, he'll basically explain to you what the Z license is. It's a pretty much a preliminary to becoming, to taking the license to be an official net battler. You have to pass the Z license to take the official license. Uh, the licenses go in B, A, S, double S, and triple S. You only need to get the A in order to beat the game. You can get the other ones to access deeper areas of the net, which we will be doing at some point. But until then, let's just take the Z license exam. And it will begin now. Surf the net without losing to a virus, and you pass. Fancy sounds? Okay, hero data and hope data are hidden on the net. Find them both, and bring them here to get your zenny. Or Z license, get your zenny. <laughs> Let's go, Mega Man. Right on. Alright, now that I'm having so much trouble apparently reading today, let's go and get the hero and the hope data. They're not that hard to find. They're only in the bottom levels of den areas 1 through 3. And we're actually going to head to 3 right now. We haven't been there yet. There wasn't much we could do there anyway. And I'll show you why. Up here is den area 3. Heading up this way. Long, long path. Here it is, spinning around. The hero data. You did it! Yeah! Yeah! We couldn't go anywhere else because of these two security cubes here. That one over there will only open up if we have an A license. And this one over here will open up with a special code that we'll get from somebody else later in the game. So, that's all... That's all that we can do here. Moving right along down this way, we're going to be heading over to Den Area 1 now. Poor Gutsman is confused. Where's Hero Data? Where's Hope Data? Oh. Or whatever that word is supposed to sound like. Uh, yeah, we'll go up. Over this way. Not so much, yeah, we'll go up, we have to go up, because no other way to do it. Alright, you can go up there and talk to Roll. She's looking for the Hero and Hope Dad as well. Nothing more than what Gutsman says. But we go this way, and we will go and discover up here... Aha, a green spinny thing. It's the hope data. All right, so now we just take that back to that guy and we get our Z license exam. Uh, I do want to mention also, in battles, you do have a chance of getting HP as a prize. So one of those battles, because my HP was getting low, and I... 
and instead of me getting any type of zenny or chip from the bat battle, freaking random encounters, uh, it gave me 20 HP instead, and if you were dangerously low, you actually could get a possibility of getting a full HP up as well. So it's nice of them to uh, keep that in mind as well, that you know your HP doesn't replenish between battles, and you have to kind of keep an eye on it in case you're taking too much damage or whatnot. Now that I'm finally back at the square, and all those random battles are done and over with for now, let's actually finally go get our Z license. And up. Um, yeah, see, I still don't even have enough for... Uh, I wouldn't even have enough for a second one if I already had bought the first one. Uh, it's gonna be interesting getting all those HP memory ups. Anywho, you found both of them. Impressive. Well then, here's your Z license, as promised. Mega Man got Z license. The center will contact you about the license test. Do well on that, and you'll get a full license. Oh, and for a limited time, we're giving out presents. Here's yours. Let me install it on your PET for you. PT installed with chip selection system. You'll find the chip selection system very useful. If you have any questions, ask the girl next to me. That's all. Good luck and happy busting. All right, awesome. We got mail. Yay! What did that say? Hey, Lan. Heard you got a Z license. Hey, here's my computer passcode. Come with Mega Man sometime. And we shall. We got the mail code and code, and I'll show you exactly what that does. But first, I'm gonna jump into our folder. If you look next to the 30, it says 4 MB. Basically, that's 4 megabytes of memory. The way it works is any chip, like I showed you before, they have the 16, 2, 8, etc., etc., etc. Any chip with 4 megabytes of memory or less, we can preset by hitting the select button. You can't, like, split it up. So you can't do, like, these two recovers because it equals 4 or anything like that. You can only do one chip, whatever amount of megabytes it is or less so in this case I am going to use all of them on an attack plus just because you know starting off with the star always a good thing to do and everybody else is down here awesome I managed to get my Z license I did it Dex I did it yeehaw and what do you guys say roll we managed to get the Z license too let's go virus busting again sometime awesome so we all got it how good is that as you run around the game, you'll be coming uh, across regular memory ups, so you'll be picking those up. They can come anywhere from 1 to 3 megabytes of memory, and that's how you will increase that number. So pretty soon you'll be able to preset even like Navi chips or anything like that. I am going to take a quick detour right now. We are going to go to Mail Security Cube. We're going to go into that, and I'll show you what that looks like when you open up Security Cube and inside of somebody's personal homepage space, which is down in Den Area 1. This way. Right down over here. I'll be traveling this path a lot. Because this is your main area that you'll be running around with in the very beginning of the game. And right here. So we use the mail code, open up the security cube, and it is gone forever. We don't ever have to worry about opening it or it closing up on us or anything like that. Into this little pur uh, pink uh, teleporter, and this is... Mail's PC. So inside of her computer, this is what it looks like. And I told you, things start really changing. Uh, her panels are all different. They're her own unique color. Of course, she has the same, a different background. I never really talked about that very much in the last, in Mega Man Battle Network 1, but I do enjoy some of the backgrounds that you can see. Uh, there's the piano, which is pretty cool. She has a blue mystery data here, which is a mini energy, our first actual sub chip. So we can hold up a 4 of any type of uh, sub-chip. Those will increase, like I said, with sub-memory ups. And that be that. So, we don't need to do anything else. I think there's... Is there one more thing here? Hold on. Oh, yes, there is one more thing. That's right, there's a new enemy. These are Flappies. 100 HP, they do 20 damage, and can give you the Quake 1 chip. Basically, they're going to jump around the board, and after so much time of them flying around, they're going to turn into a giant weight and come down and try to crush us. And with 100 HP, uh, you're guaranteed to see that, because there it goes. By doing that, it'll crack the panel, step on it, step off, creates a hole. If they try to fall into it, as you saw, they will just fall down to nothingness, but they won't take any damage, which is kind of obnoxious. Come on. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Come on. And I move too fast. Let's get rid of these holes, because... Uh, yeah, I can do this. Let's see where you're going to jump to. Alright, good. And smash. Uh, that's fine. Uh, later versions of these guys will actually have an area effect to them. So 
they'll like spew out uh, damage above them, below them, to the side of them, things along that ways, and their corresponding ships will do the same thing when thrown. But no, that is the only thing I wanted to do in here, was to find that Flappy. So, why don't we actually jack out, because that's all we got to do in the internet for right now. Mail. Land. Looks like a phone call for you. Because that's the sound a phone makes, is ring ring. Wait, it's the Eyes and Heavy Glide. Glide, is something wrong? Somebody help! Missy Eye is in trouble! What's up with the Eye? She went into the boss and hasn't come out yet. So, she's probably just relaxing. Missy Eye never takes long baths. It's bad for the skin. That, and the gas-powered water heater is acting funny. What, is it a bug? Or, or is it... I can't say for sure, but the water heater alarm is ringing! I'll go and check the water heater program for bugs. Lan, please go help Yai, please! And we get another phone call. Lan, did you hear the news? You mean about Yai? Wow, word travels fast. Yeah! I talked to Dex, too. We're real worried. I know. I'm on my way to Yai's place now. Thanks, Lan. So let's go. We gotta go see what's wrong with Yai. Heading down over this way. This guy over here, I don't mean to sidetrack, I apologize, but we have... Another uh, subject dealer, but he'll sell full energies, which will increase our HP to the max for 400 zenny. Alright, that's enough. Let's go save the eye. Enough of this dilly dallying. There's a time for talk and a time for action. You guys wait here. I'm going inside, so just stand back. Are you sure about this? Shouldn't we all go to in together? No! We can't all risk our lives. It's too dangerous. But have no fear, I'll be back in five minutes tops. Time has passed. Lan. It's been five minutes. Let's go. Those two need our help. What do you have to say, Mail? Lan, I'll go too. Okay. I'll wait here then. But you better save them and come back, okay? Okay? Don't worry, Mail. We will save them. For our sake! Because we are heroes! Huh? The door locked behind us. Yai! Dex! Can you hear me? Wait, Lan! What's that smell? Whoa, that stinks! Dex must have been through here. That's gas! Oh no. They've been breathing this. And we're locked in with no escape. I smell a hacker. And I smell gas. How? If you breathe too much of this, wait. Okay, your PT has a gas sensor on it on its screen now, see? Thanks, Mega Man. With this, we can avoid the gas and find those two, because gas doesn't spread throughout an entire room. It just stays in one nice little purple clump. Roger. Mail. I wonder what it could be. Well, let's take a look, actually, because this is an important situation. Why not read our mail? Use roll. Ooh. I told you I'd wait, but I'm worried. Give this to Mega Man. Land God, roll R. Awesome. Which is a very, very good thing to have, because what that is, is it's our first summon chip. Attacks one enemy, then heals you. So, Roll will bounce into the playing field, go to the closest enemy, smack him around with her Roll Flash, those antenna things on her head, and heal us for 30 damage, or 30 health. Um, I got some stuff to exchange around, so I'm actually going to go do that right now. What do we got? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of these. I know I got rid of a J just throwing an R, but I love to abuse navvies. That's, that's just my particular gameplay style. I use navvies as much as I possibly can. And especially when there's something like roll where I can hurt you and heal me, that's the best way to go. But, what I'm going to do now is actually end the episode right here. In the next episode, we're going to go in, we're going to see what happened inside Yai's house, what these mysterious purple gaseous things are. Ooh, stay back. Where are Dex? Where is Dex? Where is Yai? Where is Gutsman? And where are we going? So, rate, comment, subscribe as I ask you to do in almost every episode. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to you guys joining me in the next one. Let me know how I'm doing, and by all means, you know, check out Mega Man Battle Network 1 or anything else I happen to have posted at the time. So, until next time, everybody. Later.